Welcome back to Shadowman. This week we're testing Brigadine or Butted Plate Brigadine. What we have here is our 18 gauge plates riveted to a strong leather backing. So that would be worth a four point in the Amp Guard rulebook. This here is the heavy gauge plates, once again on a heavy leather backing. Or sorry, a strong leather backing. That would be worth a five. Unfortunately, my armor cap stays at four. So, not going to talk too much about it. Let's just get into it. Something flew past me. I don't know what it was. Oh, it's nothing from here. Could oh. have been from the sword? Yeah, no, it, the it's a... Uh, Bark? From the stump, it looks like. Okay. That's a nice little... Uh, Oh yeah, there, there's a couple of them. The rivet's gone. That's this rivet here looks like it's pooched. But all in all, this stuff is standing up pretty well. Okay, so this stuff here, as you can see, is a bit, a bit tighter of a pattern than last week's cloth. So let's see if we have any more success with this. Let's actually try. Nothing. The plates took the bulk of it, and it's still laughing. Um, well. <laughs> that, um, hurt. A lot. Yeah. We compression cut our way through that one. Bit of a dent in the slump. Yeah. Okay. You'd be alive. Your ribs you? hurt though. <laughs> I think your everything would hurt at this point. Probably. Yeah, this here is once again stuck inside the stump. It's just compression cut. Yeah, because the back of the leather is intact, so... Yeah. If you were squishy and padded, you'd be fine. <laughs> Hurting, but still one piece. Now this one. That one looked like it's stuck in. A little bit. <laughs> just a little. Yeah, just a bit. You're not dead, though. Yeah. Through the first layer. A little pinprick on the stump. Got a hole in the plate in the first one. Oh yeah. Yeah. And nothing more than a pinprick. Yeah. So you're alive either way. It says nothing for the blunt force trauma this guy would have suffered. Oh, yeah, for sure. Hey, done. Alright. Left yourself on the ice. Yep. In the middle of the spring thaw here. It's getting dangerous as is. You're going to want to move back. Yeah, probably. Bye. I think you landed between. Yeah, landed between. I'll take another swing at it. <laughs> and that's why this armor is rated. Uh, oh. Not out of six. That is scary under my feet. <coughs> Just saying. There you go. Watch your points there. Yep. <coughs> you just clipped it. And it's just completely gone. I'm not going to see that tile anymore. Where'd you hit here? You landed between on both hits. Good job. Yeah. You want to take another swing at that? Sure. I'll take another swing. Uh, aim for that guy there in the top left corner. Top left corner? <laughs> yeah. That center one's just totally blown out. 
and in between again. No, oh. that, that's not between. That actually. Mm. Well, between ish. Yeah, it's not something you're gonna buff out. No. But... Yeah, I, I think you killed this guy dead, John. It's it's dead, Jim. <laughs> To be fair, it did take the, the heavier piercing weapons to go through this stuff. Uh, I'm not really sure how we're going to get through the, some of the bigger stuff we got coming up. <laughs> With my axe. <laughs> yeah, we're I don't think there's too much your axe can do, John. <laughs> Depending on some of the shit that's coming up. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so. Next week. Since we're all done the butted plate brigadine. We're going to move on to the coat of plates brigadine. See if it actually stands up to John's axe. Have a great week.